guys, my name is Madison Campbell and today I'm going to be doing a huge classroom supply haul. teacher. Today I'm going to be showing you some stuff that I have been collecting over the past month or so for my classroom in August. So I'm really excited. A lot of this stuff I found really good deals on so I'm excited to tell you where I've got it from. So starting off with this 10 drawer rolling cart, I got the best deal. If you guys know, these are typically from Michaels and can go anywhere from $30 to like $60 depending on the sale. So I found this for free off of Facebook Marketplace. I'm so excited. I have a 15 drawer rolling cart that I use religiously. I mean, I use it every single day for almost everything that I use on a day-to-day -day basis as a teacher. So I really wanted to get another one. And if you guys have been following along with me, you know that my biggest thing I'm working on for next school year is organization. So I really want to up my organization game. And I knew I wanted to get another one of these so that I could store more papers because my paper system was just out of whack last year. I was constantly throwing away papers or I just didn't have places for them. So I don't quite know right now what I'm going to use this for, probably centers, um, but my 15 drawer one I use for daily papers, Monday through Friday, planning and filing and copying. Um, I actually just bought some super cute labels from Letters of Fourth Grade TPT. I will link the labels down below and I'll show you guys right here what the labels look like that I'm going to be putting on my 15 drawer ruling cart. But I am still deciding what exactly I'm going to do with these, so I'll keep you updated. Alright, next up is this bad boy. I haven't put it together yet and I actually have bought two of these. The other one is back home in Columbia. I am at my parents' house right now. This three-tier cart is going to come in handy. I am so excited to use these. I have another one in white, I believe. And basically I'm going to use these for my math and my reading small groups. So back um, at my small group table, I'll have this one and I'll probably label it math and then my other one I'll label reading and I'll be able to store everything that I need for small group. And um, I got some ideas from a lot of people off Instagram for this. I know Haley Caitlin, I will tag her um, below. She is an Instagrammer and a teacher YouTuber that I love. And she uses these for centers and as well as um, morning meetings, I'm pretty sure. And so I just got that idea from her and some other Instagrammers that I follow. So I'm really excited to use both of these three tier cards. I went ahead and bought some more bins. These are from Target and they are just like that and I use these for collecting papers typically I had like a tray system and it just didn't work out the papers were always super messy so I find like the end of the jewel what do you call these containers boxes trays I don't know what do you call this I find that these work a lot better for organizing um, student turn in work and then I usually find myself finding something to do with the, the other ones because there's Six here. Alright guys, I am so excited about this purchase. I had this idea probably towards the end of last year. I have been dying to utilize this. I had the worst time keeping track of pencils or my kids had the worst time keeping track of pencils. That was on them. I literally bought a box of 1,000 pencils and I'm telling you in three months it was gone. I, you know, you have the kids that hoard pencils, so some kids will have 35 pencils in their desk. Another kid never has a pencil. I had some kids break them, you have the chewers, you have the ones that have to drill them down in the pencil sharpener until they're this big. I was just constantly out of pencils in the classroom. So for this year, I was like, you know what? I'm changing my system. And I saw this, I'm pretty sure on Pinterest. Guys, I get all my ideas from like Pinterest and Instagram and just other teachers in general. I usually am not the first one who comes up with this idea. So I'm so excited. These are traveling toothpaste holders. What am I saying? Traveling toothbrush holders. Come on, Madison. 
and basically what I'm going to do with these, each kid is going to get one, and I think it said like four or five pencils can fit in here, and I'm going to label each one, I don't have it labeled yet, sorry, they're not cute yet, but I will label each one with my students' names. I don't know my students' names yet, so I can't do that. But I will label them, and then I'll label the pencils. I will literally label each of five pencils with their name. And their job is to keep a hold of those five pencils for the month. And at the end of every month, I'm going to have each student turn in their own pencil holder, toothbrush holder, <laughs> and they will get a prize if they have all five pencils still left in it. And I'm thinking about, I don't know, I'm still thinking about the prize, but it's gonna be something that will make them work really hard to keep those five pencils. So we'll see if that works. I just was literally going crazy by the end of this year because there was no pencils in my classroom. I'm like, where are all my pencils? Okay, so I literally have bought three of these. It is just a pocket chart. Um, well, it's not a pocket chart. Okay, technically it's like a clear pocket shoe organizer, but I have bought two of these and then a regular pocket chart so far for next year because I keep having ideas where I'm like, ooh, like I need pockets because <laughs> I feel like it'll help organize my life. So I have one that I just showed on my last vlog, which I'll link down below. I had a bunch of people send me some Amazon Prime gifts, which I am so thankful for. I truly did not think people would be sending me stuff this early or at all like i am just in awe and i'm so grateful anyway so i got um a chart similar to this except each pocket is labeled with a number so like one through 25 or something like that and basically what i'm going to do with that one what's labeled i'm going to have each kid keep their headphones because um, in my school we are one-to-one -one on iPads which I'm so grateful for and so each of my students has their own iPads and they have their own set of headphones that go with it whether their parents purchased it for them or the school provides them with the headphones. Either way my kids were breaking them because they were always getting lost or other kids were taking them um, and it was just always a disaster. I had at least two students a day come up to me and being like where are my headphones? And so I wanted to nip that problem in the butt. And this year I'm going to have them store their headphones in these little pockets with their student number on it. And so that is their responsibility to keep it in these pockets so that it doesn't get broken or lost. So I have another one of these and I'm thinking I'm going to use this possibly for water bottles. The desk clutter was just super real last year. Um, and I was lucky enough to where my kids had lockers last year outside in the hallway. This year their cubbies are in the classroom so I know the clutter is going to be even worse. So I really want to minimize that and I want them to keep water bottles or drinks or snacks or anything like that in these little pockets that will I will also have labeled with their school number. Guys, my dad's laughing at me all the time because he's like, how many drawers do you need? Like, why do you need so many clear plastic drawers? Your teacher, you know. So I got this, <laughs> I'm trying to show it to you. I got this um, just, I don't know what it's called, three drawer cart. And I am so excited for this because again, organization. That is my word of the year. So I'm going to use this. I actually am thinking about using this for something different than I had ever used last year. So I am implementing three different things this year. The first thing is a reading mat. I want my kids to build on their reading stamina. That was something that I realized second graders especially struggle with. So I'm going to um, actually tag below the TPT where I bought the reading mat from or the reading mat labels. So basically what it is, a reading mat, if you're primary, you probably know, it's basically just going to be a file folder that's going to lay flat on the ground and one side will say go, one side will say stop, and we'll have a pile of books to read. And basically once they're done reading another book, um, it's just to tell them you're not done reading, go ahead, go back and read the next book. And when you finish that pile, start over. So it's just a way for them to build on that reading stamina. And I'm planning on really implementing that this year. I want to keep those reading mats really clean because I know they'll be on the floor and kids will be like really handsy with them. So I don't want them just like shoved in a desk somewhere. So I'm planning on having them in one of these drawers. The other drawer I'm going to have is for their take home folders. Last year we had a take home folder on Fridays, but since I came in halfway through the year, the whole system just got a little messed up. And so this year I'm going to make sure that I'm really strict about 
about getting them back on time, getting them signed, um, and all of that, just because I think take-home photos are really important and having communication with families is super, super important. And so I found myself always having kids losing the folders. Um, and so this way I'm going to have one of these drawers for those folders so the kids know. I bought some labels for these clear drawers as well and I am going to um, have the labels on here so that the kids know exactly which drawer to open up and put their Friday folder in to put their reading mat in. So the third drawer is going to be for writing portfolios. This is huge for me this year. I had never taught second grade writing and last year when I taught second grade writing I was so unorganized with their papers. I had them turning in all these like beautiful, super cute papers and I just didn't know where to put them. And the teacher that was in the class before me didn't have any sort of writing portfolio system in place so the kids didn't know where to put them. So really I just had them turning in all their writing and trays and when you're building up on a paper you have rough drafts and stuff like that. So when you're in the process of editing and the kids need their rough draft and their final copy, it all gets mixed up it's the worst so I really really want to implement a writing portfolio system this year so each of my kids will have a binder and the binder will have tabs in it so they have a place for their rough drafts and for their revising and editing copies and for their final copies and that way we can just hopefully keep it a little bit more organized and I will put one of those um, labels on here for the writing portfolios so they will know where to keep it but I didn't mention before that three-tier cart was from Michaels and it was on sale. So I got it for a pretty good price and while I was there, I couldn't pass up looking at the bulletin board paper. So I got one of these white wood bulletin board shiplap um, papers. So I'm really excited. I had some of these in my classroom last year, but I'm keeping my same theme and um, I definitely wanted to get a few more of these because I ran out and I'm still trying to decide what I want to put on my bulletin boards. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. Okay guys, I wasn't kidding when I said I bought a ton of these. I, I just found another one of these 24 pocket over the door organizers. This is from Five Below. So it's only $5. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet. I'm sure I'll come up with something, some way to organize all their stuff. Um, but I just saw it was five dollars, so couldn't mess it up. I saw these at Michaels, and there's some superstar badges. And I was thinking about implementing some sort of the Watcher badge um, and role in my classroom this year. I can't remember where I saw the idea. I want to say it was on Instagram, possibly Pinterest, where you have one student in charge of like watching transitions so they will watch um just like lining up just monitor transitions and make sure that everything's going smoothly and they'll get to wear a little badge that says the watcher for the day and i'll probably just um switch every day for a new watcher so i'm not exactly sure but i know that'd be a really cute idea so i bought a few of these watcher badges okay i saw this at five below and i could not pass this up <laughs> It's a room diffuser and some essential oils to go with it. I had a teacher friend last year who always used a diffuser in her classroom and it smelled so good. And so I thought this would be really cute to have like in the library. Um, as long as none of my kids are allergic or anything to any type of essential oil, I'll definitely check with parents ahead of time. But I love this, it's only $5, this was $3. So super good deal, so I'm really excited about that. All right guys, so one of my projects this summer is to plan out my word wall. So I teach second grade. Um, I know I've talked to some people who say they can't imagine not having a word wall. For me, I know some second grade teachers that don't have a word wall at all, but after teaching second grade for half a year, I realized I definitely want a word wall because I want somewhere to display all the words that they're learning, not just in their notebooks or in their workbooks. So I, have been looking through a lot of different um, teachers word walls to get some ideas because I wasn't really sure I'd never had a word wall before I student taught fifth grade and so I really want to have a word wall that's really functional but somewhere that the kids can go and look at the words and so have it really easily accessible so I decided to do the binder ring approach so I bought some binder rings and I bought some hooks so I will just laminate my words on a little card and then I will hole punch it, put a binder ring through it, and hang it 
on the hooks. That just fell. <laughs> Hi guys, so I am really excited for these bad boys. This past year, another thing I struggled with besides pencil keeping <laughs> and the organization, of course, is name tags on desks. I had all these super cute ideas. I had all these super cute name tags printed out and I laminated them. I went through three sets of name tags. So 20 kids, three sets of name tags in three months. So one per month. Every month I had to take off the name tags and redo them because kids would tear them apart, rip the tape off, get really gross. They'd write on them, draw on them, you name it. And yes, of course, I said something to the class about it, but it didn't help. So that was so irritating and just disheartening because I kept printing out the cutest name tags and going through the trouble of typing all their names on them and laminating them and putting them on their desks and just to have them kind of torn up and ripped apart. So I know not every class does that, but I just don't want to deal with that again. So I took an idea, idea from Miss Warwick. I'm going to um, tag her below. She actually posted I'm thinking like a year or two ago of her tables she would write the kids names with this um what is it an oil based paint sharpie and I thought that was genius I saw that and was like light bulb why have I not thought of this like yes the name tags are super cute but at the end of the day it's not worth it if the kids are just ripping them off so I'm going to try this year to just write all my students names on their desks or on the tables and um, I think that she would put a piece of tape over it and um, she said that it wouldn't smudge and kids um, papers wouldn't smudge on it or anything like that and she said it was really easy to get off I think with like hand sanitizer so I'll keep you guys updated on that I definitely need to practice my lettering and handwriting skills because her names looked a lot cuter on the desk than I'm sure mine will but I'm so excited I finally have a milk crate guys I don't even have a single milk crate in my classroom and I feel like that's like a teacher staple like are you a teacher if you don't have a milk crate so with this milk crate, I actually probably want to buy a couple more, but I know for sure what I want to do with this, and I'll put a picture up right here of the idea I got off Instagram. It is for data. Data, data, data. That is like <laughs> my biggest stressor, and I am just horrible at keeping data and keeping track of data, and so I really want to up my game this year, and I want to have file folders going across this crate with all my students' numbers, and I want to keep their data organized by student and year. So I'm really hoping that'll help me step up my data keeping organizing game. <laughs> all right guys, this is the last thing I'm going to show to you today. This is just what I have so far. I still have about a month until school starts, so I'm sure I'll have more to add. But for now, this is the last thing. I picked these bad boys up at Five Below. So I'm so excited about these finds. I had seen some people post about these, so I was really happy to get my hands on them. Um, these are the last two there. Um, I am just excited to put these in my library. I'm not exactly sure. I'm kind of thinking I want to get a table of some sort to put these around, um, but I think these are super cute and it kind of goes in my greenery theme, so I was glad that they had some green ones left. All right, guys, that is all I have to show you today. I have been working on a ton of projects this summer and preparing for my first year of teaching in the fall. I've shown in a couple of vlogs, I will link down below some projects I've been working on. I painted a wooden rocking chair that I had. I will post a picture of that very soon to my Instagram, which I'll link down below so that you can see the final result. I also painted 23 book bins that were rainbow. I painted them a light blue just to go with my classroom theme a little bit better. And those turned out really great as well. And what else? Oh, I also did a teacher toolbox. So that turned out super cute. I'll post a picture of it here. And um, that's just the start of it. I still have a lot of stuff that I want to work on and a lot of projects that I will hopefully get finished by the start of school in August. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I am so excited for next school year, though we don't entirely know what's going to happen in the fall. Either way, I'm staying positive and I'm still preparing just as I normally would for um, a normal first year of teaching. So thank you so much for watching my video today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.